thinking like Ken was already gone. Pretty much far out. Okay, good, cool. Alright. So Ken gets like the most ballsy tippers I've ever seen in my life. See like that. He knows like how to prep for it and like he has like a some non zero percent chance of getting it. Right. The risk reward thing we're talking about. <laughs> I play with Blur a lot, and he reminds me of a very bad version of Ken. <laughs> and he's still better than me, but <laughs> Ken is like a much cleaner version of the level. Okay, wow, nice. Uh, let me finish that off. Sheik is so hard to kill in, in teams. I'll yeah. notice that. Like, they, just, they don't have time to sit there and try and... Wow, that was an amazing recovery by Blur. Uh, further playing a Fox 7 as your Shin Falco. <laughs> And Ken's just really good at getting hitboxes out where it needs to be. Like it's, it may not be like the most conventional hitbox, but he gets it out and. But he will hit you. Yeah, he'll put some damage out. That's the best. Kick it. See if he gets his edge guard. Ken does. Cleans it up. Leaves it back there. And Saki doesn't even make any effort to. to help out yet. <laughs> oh my God! It's a bloodbath right now in this corner. Good shine by Fruit Loops. It's first time. Shine save. Yeah, saves. Uh, can I say like Fruit Loops is amazingly smart? Wow, that was wow, an amazing. Wow, nice. Combo. And he gets a shine too on the left side. Okay, finishes it off. And suddenly we we have the red team opened up pretty hard right now. Yeah. Take it and Fruit Loops with the push balls. Oh, he just goes for it. Shout out to the King of Smash. Hits him with a fully charged, uh, not Tipper, but. Okay. When I see Ken charge a forward smash into random side B and then do up B randomly, that like embodies melee to the least degree for me. It's great. <laughs> um, so this is actually not that. There's no stock difference. There's a percent difference. Now there's a stock difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see if he closes that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. KK is edge guarded 10. And I have Quite to successful. give a little bit of grief um, for Santi to not be in position to kind of counter hit when they um, hit Ken off stage. With edge guarding Ken, yeah. yeah. I feel like he never. Um, every time there's a power hit, Fumi should be there in position to hit them. It's a pretty much a free hit. And um, it's a little disappointing to not see him in position to capitalize. Yep. Um, if you watch the better teams, they rarely ever give any strong hits. Yep. Wow. If I just watch. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. That's actually crazy. What a reversal. I still think KK can close this out, but we'll see. It's going to be tough, though. He's going to need one strong one, hit. One strong hit. But oh, maybe now not. it's They're looking really like turns right oh, now. Oh my gosh. This is actually super tense. See, like, Ken can go in, and if... Oh, wow. If uh, he gets Ooh. hit, then Fumi will trade, and it's over. Not looking good. Oh, that was amazing. That was super smart, but again, now... All right, he has one more chance. This is his last he chance. He can do a pullback. Oh! Uh, yeah, and then, wow, amazing turnaround by uh, Ken and Santiago. Good stuff. Close game, very exciting. I still think it was close enough that uh, Fruit Loop and KK could bring it back in, too. So yeah, he got he missed DI at the side B. He thought he could crotch cancel, and he did that on the side B, but then he held it too long, so the strong hit of the side B combo um, pushed him back and knocked him off. Okay. And I think he was just thinking, well, you could just crotch cancel side B. Yes, you can. But then you have to act on it right away, or else you're going to get hit. It's melee. It's so hard. You can have the read, but you have to also have to execute. You have to, I mean, everything. You have to act fast. But, like, every, I think everybody gets, like, jinx stocked by Ken at least, like, two <laughs> times in a set. Like, where you're like, oh, crap, I didn't know that. Let's keep an eye on Ken for the, the jinx stock game. See if he just knocks Like, why doesn't he up throw on platform? Or, like, up tilt and stuff? It's interesting. Ooh, he goes for the Randy up me. Yeah. Ken definitely puts in different moves than most other marks. And I love to see it. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it works against him. I guess it works either way. <laughs> it's putting in work. He has good back air hitboxes, though. That's something that a lot of Mars don't do anymore. This set different than the last one, and there's not many 1v1s. They're always going to be in sort of a cluster. Miscommunication there. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's see if they can um, get a kill here. Already at two stocks. Regain center stage. 
the thing that's that. interesting about teams is that you're always you're always trading something. Um, especially when you have good two good teams, you'll notice it a lot more. Yeah. You rack up damage a lot on one person. Do you trade damage on one person? Are you gonna go for the edge guard or are you gonna rack up damage on this guy? Oh right, yeah. yeah makes sense. There's always something you could be doing, especially with a player. Ooh, current leader just <laughs> dropped off the green team. And the red team's kinda building up a lead right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. Well, Cannon, Cannon's not one to ever wait in any situation, ever. He just wants to go in. I feel like KK can maybe play less in the middle. I think he gets in the thick of it maybe too much with you. What do you think? He seems to be getting there and getting comboed quite a bit. Oh. And like his edge guards look pretty clean. They are? It's not, uh, I don't know. I think they're having a lot of confuse, confusion on who's the aggressor. Right. Um, oh, this is bad position for him. Fumi comes with protects. So if you're the you know partner of a person getting edge guard, you want to build a wall. So they, they, there's no way they can throw a hitbox at your partner. Right. Oh, wow. Ken threatens, he dashes back, and then uh, KK goes right there. To KK play. kind of tunnel visions there and gets caught. Yeah. Uh, good work by Fruit Loop, making sure that KK could land safely. Yeah, I feel like Fruit covering KK pretty well. I have to say, Ken is looking really strong in these team sets yeah. right now. He's, he's doing most of the damage. Like, he's not really getting plays. caught. He's like, you know, racking up damage. Yeah, um, and he's, he's surviving to it for a long time. And you know, when you play Ken, cause just because like he could, you think he could throw out a forward smash, like you give him a lot of respect and, it, and based on his reputation alone, he's gonna, you know, get That's a lot of space for himself just by running into you because he's like, oh crap, he's crazy enough that he could throw a He could do it, yeah. His mix-ups have the, the, that advantage.